first handgun I ever owned was a World War II era Colt Model 1911. And to tell you the truth, I couldn't hit the broad side of a barn with it. But back where I grew up in the Southern California desert, well, there weren't too many barns. But there was this terrific old sand berm on the outside of town. I did a lot of practice out there with that 1911, went through a lot of ammunition, learning how to handle the gun properly, and hit the target. There are a lot of things you have to learn about a Colt 1911. Now, in this case, I'm using a World War Supply copy of the M7 shoulder holster used by U.S. forces during World War II. Uh, this is a more modern gun, of course. This is the new Boomerex Colt Commander. This is a 177 caliber BB pistol. Now, the fact that this gun looks like a 1911 is really a key thing because all of the features in the Umarex Colt Commander are identical to a real 1911. Slide release, magazine release, thumb safety, sights, and above all else, it works just like a real 1911. The CO2 capsule contained in a 1911-style magazine performs two functions. It propels a BB downrange at an average velocity of 325 feet per second, and it also operates the slide to make it come back, cock the hammer, and close. Now, this gives you the same effect as shooting because the slide is moving back and forward, so you have to reacquire your sights after each shot. There's another great advantage to these live-action BB pistols. The slide actually locks back after the last round is fired, and you can drop the magazine, grab a spare, reload, and you're ready to go. Now, this also helps you facilitate practicing reloads and also doing tactical reloads in the middle before you actually have an empty gun and you can reload. You can have two or three of these magazines. And the great thing is the cost of the gun and the magazines together is about $150. There are a lot of different 1911 air pistols. This one is by Crossman. It's a little different design. It's a double action design. Uh, over here we have the uh, Daisy Winchester. This is the model 11K. It's a deluxe model and a two-tone uh, finish. These two models do not work the same way. The most authentic designs are those by Umarex. That includes the Colt Commander and the Remington RAC 1911. Now these guns have exact dimensions. They'll fit in any standard 1911 holster. For example, this uh, Bianchi Speed Scabbard, classic holster. Shoulder holsters, the uh, Galco Combat Master. All of these guns have exact dimensions to a real 1911. Eight and a half inches in overall length, five inch barrels, five and a half inches in height, and one inch in width. They're all single actions. They weigh between 32 and 34 ounces. The Umarex models will hold 18 steel BBs using one 12 gram CO2 capsule. The average price for these guns is from $122 to $139. For our shooting test, we're going to be using Umarex 177 caliber steel BBs. The uh, magazine for the Umarex Colt 1911 holds 18 steel BBs as well as the uh, CO2 capsule. Our shooting distance is going to be a nominal range of 20 feet, which is ideal for a blowback action BB pistol. So let's see how we do. So for a distance of 20 feet, we shot 18 BBs. We have a grouping here, it's just about, oh, one and a quarter inches. We have almost uh, 10 right in this little group here, well under an inch. So the accuracy of the gun at this distance is very good. And again, it's great practice with a 1911 style pistol to practice sight acquisition and also the operation of the slide release, magazine release, and thumb safety. Now, there's one thing to be uh, very aware of. Given the attention to detail that goes into every blowback action 1911 air pistol, they should be treated with the same respect as any cartridge firing 1911 handgun with concern to their carry, use, and public display. These adult air guns are difficult to distinguish from their cartridge firing counterparts. For more information on all the 1911 models shown, visit PyramidAir.com, UmarexUSA.com, RemingtonAirGuns.com, WinchesterAirRifles.com, Daisy.com, and Crossman.com. And be sure to watch for our upcoming article in Combat Handguns and our new air gun column, Super Hot Air. For TacticalLife.com, I'm Dennis Adler. Thanks for watching.